The Asian American population is growing faster than any other major ethnic or racial group. From 2010 to 2016, 42 percent of the 8.1 million people who came to the United States from a foreign country were from Asia. 38% came from Latin America, 8.6% from Europe, and 8% from Africa. This information comes from a new U.S. Census Bureau report. For 2016, the U.S. Census Bureau said Asian Americans had the highest median annual income of all ethnic and racial groups. The median income for Asians was $81,431, about the same as 2015. That compared to a median income of $59,039 for all Americans. Pew said the U.S. Asian population is also better educated. About half of Asians 25 and older have a college degree. That compares to 30% among all Americans over age 25, Pew said. Along with education, the Pew study also noted a high level of English language skill among Asians. Seven of ten Asians in the United States, ages five and up, speak English proficiently the study said. U.S.-born Asian Americans are more likely to speak English well than foreign-born Asians. Stephanie Wong is Chapter and Membership Associate with OCA Asian Pacific American Advocates. She said the information from the Census Bureau is somewhat misleading because it puts Asian Americans from many different backgrounds into one group. The Asian American population is very diverse, Wong said. She suspects some Asian Americans do not receive public or private assistance because of the mistaken belief all Asian Americans are doing well economically. To point out the diverse economic backgrounds of Asian Americans, the Pew Research Center looked at income levels for people from different Asian countries. In 2015, it said that Indian American households had a median income of $100,000, the highest among Asian Americans. For Filipino Americans, the median household income was $80,000. But the Pew Report said Eight of the 19 Asian groups it examined had higher poverty rates than the U.S. average. They included the Hmong, Bhutanese, and Burmese. The Asian American population now stands just short of 21 million people, the Census Bureau reported. That represents just over 6% of the American population. In a recent report, the Pew Research Center said Asian Americans likely will become the largest immigrant group in the United States. In 50 years, Asians should make up 38% of all U.S. immigrants, overtaking the current largest immigrant group, Hispanics, the Pew Center said. William Frey researches urban populations, immigration, and other issues for the Brookings Institution, a research center based in Washington, D.C. He said immigration policies that support educated immigrants are likely to help Asians. But he said changes in American immigration policy could affect immigration from Asia as well as other parts of the world. President Donald Trump and some Republicans in Congress have proposed a bill calling on America to reduce the number of legal immigrants admitted into the U.S. each year. They also want to give a preference to well-educated immigrants and or 
those with job offers. Asian American people come from more than 20 countries in East and Southeast Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Each has its own history, language, and culture. Some of the biggest growth came from Bhutan, Nepal, and Burma, the Pew Center reported. But China continues to be the largest country of origin for Asian Americans. Chinese Americans numbered 4.9 million in 2015, or 24% of Asian Americans, Pew reported. Pew said that India is number two, with nearly 4 million people listing it as their country of origin. The other leading countries of origin for Asian Americans are the Philippines, 3.9 million, Vietnam, nearly 2 million, Korea, 1.8 million, Japan, 1.4 million, and Pakistan, 519,000.